All right, we're good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, so first, just to start, we're just gonna do like a quick introduction. So it's like I'm is Allah and from wherever. I'm mad awkward. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. No, 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 no. Let's. Here, I, you're, I know we gotta we gotta break the ice up. So why don't you tell me about how you got started in music? Oh, uh, getting started in music, I would say working with my cousin. Uh, I think you're familiar with him, History. Uh, History's always been a producer, always had equipment in the crib. I used to play ball when I was younger. That was that was my dream. And, like, he always just thought I was a talented writer, so he used to just, like, always, like, use me to push him because music was always his destiny. Yeah. So um, he would have the instrumental tapes or make beats or whatever and, like, always keep me, keep me writing to him. I, I would say that that was the start originally. And then once I graduated high school, I decided to like make a career out of it. You know? So what made you start taking it serious? Was there a certain song you came out with that kind of hit, or what? What what was the turn into that? Um, one it was like you know graduating high school was just a turning point in your life. So that was one. I wasn't really, I hated basketball once I graduated high school. Like by then I was over it. Um, I just wanted to. I felt like I was um, sheltering my creativity. I didn't really want to like really fully be the, the, the creative person I was and really express myself. And um, I would say that like discovering Travis Scott music in like 2013, like early on, was like a game changer. Like for sure, he was like producing his own music, um, editing the videos, uh, writing the treatment, the treatment for the videos, writing the songs, like, and I was like, nah, I, I, if he could do this, then I should be on that too, like, that's the type of, sh that's the type of time I wanted to be on. So, like, Travis and Rocky was, like, two, two people that made me be like, you know what, nah, I'm a rap for real, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna put on, like, how they put it on. Even though I always had a passion for hip-hop, but it wasn't until then that I was like, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. So you feel like, the, are those kind of two your main influences as far as your sound, or do you feel like, because I feel like you have a very unique sound, so what are your influences as far as that? Uh, as far as my sound, like, the uh, people I listen to don't really influence it much as far as, like, how it sounds. I would say they more so influence... Is the, Is the audio good? Yeah. I, would, I would say they inspire me more in terms of, like, um, doing business in the music industry, outside of music, um, you know, in fashion and stuff like that. Yeah. What influences my sound is more so like just being an individual, honestly, like trying to set myself apart, you know? Yeah. I don't really feel like the people who influence me to make music necessarily influence the music I make. I feel that you. Makes sense. Hold on one second. I, why did it drop out like that? Why is it sound like different? Nah, it's just off. Says, so, what's the difference? Does that mean it's going to sound different in the middle of it? No. Nah. It didn't have it off. Okay. Could you leave it on? Or is it going to make a difference? My bad. Nah, I'm just doing it off. Alright. Alright, so, next I just wanted to know what you think of the current trends in hip hop and like how you fit into that. Um, <clears throat> I think hip hop is in a good space right now. There's a lot of balance. We got our uh, super top tier lyricists. We got people that make fun music. We got people that make um, ignorant music. You know, that's still needed. That's very much a part of our culture. As, like it or not, I think there's good balance in hip hop. Where do I fit? I think <laughs> that's a funny question because I don't really think there like is a fit for me. I'm making my way. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't really see, like, like a lane that's already made that's for me. That I could just, you know, be like, I am right, a part of this now. Yeah, I feel you. So what do you do to, to stay creative? Or like, can you tell us about your creative process a little bit? Yeah, uh, it varies a bit. It's, it's usually pretty uniform and, like, always the same. But um, as of recently, I, I, I haven't been writing as much like just listening to the beat and writing. Uh, I've adapted to like freestyling in the studio and punching in, and that's really fun. But 
other times I'm, you know, in the crib, got got my headphones on, going through beats. And um, yeah, how to stay inspired? I don't really know, like, cause it's tough. It's it's tough to stay inspired. Like, hold on a second. Damn y'all. <laughs> All right. Hey, what's up? Can you come over here? It's all right, cause I already I got. I'm gonna have to redo that one. Sorry. Um. Okay. So we got. So I'm. A, I'm just gonna ask you what what helps you to stay inspired and like advice for other artists and yeah. you can just do. And I'm gonna cut that. Yeah. All right. So what what helps you to stay inspired and do you have any advice for other artists that are coming up? What helps me stay inspired? For sure, weed does. You know, it gives me balance. <laughs> My mind is like all over the place, 24/7. So if I got headphones on and I got a spliff, you know, I can smoke. I can just play beats over until like uh, I get into a groove. Um, other than that, like I don't. It's different to say. Like other art mediums, it's easier to find inspiration when it comes to writing music. I, that's just something that has to happen. Like whether I'm in the studio or at the crib. Studio and freestyling in the crib, I, I might write a verse down or write the full song depends okay that's perfect now i'm gonna just have you do two drops real quick do you have anything coming out soon like a project or anything yeah i'm working on an album it's called the red aquarium the follow-up to the gray aquarium my first album um okay so i'm gonna just have you do a drop like hey this is rizola and i and my project's dropping whatever date called Okay. I don't have a date. Okay. Oh, whatever. Soon. Yeah, I got you. Just do it. Yep. Mm -hmm. What's happening, world? This is Riz Allah, Soul Aquatic Design President. You know what I'm saying? 